have a nice day. My name is Asahafida Binti Maiwad with VR1811096. Today we are going to learn about alternative pasture and fodder system which is hydroponic fodder. Hydroponic for the system is a temperature and humidity controlled growing room that is specifically designed to sprout grains that are very nutritious. A selection of grains are put into photochemically treated trays without soil and sprayed with nutrient rich water solution at predetermined intervals. Hydroponic fodder is young tender grass grown from a cereal grain, mostly barley. In essence, it replaces grains like dairy meals, pig's feeds, and poultry feed concentrates. 1. Shorter time to grow Compared to traditional fodder which often needs up to 2 months to grow, you can grow hydroponic fodder in just one week. 2. Less water requirement Compared to conventional fodder production, it required less water for hydroponic fodder production. Only 3 to 4 liters of water is necessary to grow 1 kg of hydroponic fodder. 3. Easy daily production Hydroponic fodder can be produced on a regular basis throughout the year, even when low water problem. And 4. Chemicals or pesticides It does not require any chemicals or pesticides to grow. First, a hydroponic garden requires farmer's time and commitment. Plants are depending on you for their survival. We must take good care of them and the system upon initial installation. Without proper care and adequate knowledge, plants will die out more quickly. So, just like anything worthwhile in life, hardworking and responsible attitude gives satisfactory yield. Water and electricity risk In a hydroponic system, mostly we use water and electricity. Beware of electricity in the combination of water in close proximity. Always put safety first when working with the water systems and electric equipment, especially in commercial greenhouses. Next, the hydroponic fodder systems mostly comes with hydroponic housing unit. This is a custom-built structure whose role is to provide a temperature control environment for the growing of fodder. Second, photochemical hydroponic trays. These are photochemically treated trays to prevent fungus on which the fodder is grown. Third, seed. The best seed for growing hydroponics fodder is barley. And last is water. One needs to have a reliable source of clean, potable water for the fodder. Hydroponic fodder systems are usually used to sprout cereal grains such as barley, oats, wheat, sorghum, and corn, or legumes such as alfalfa, clover, or cow peas. Barley is the most commonly grown forage because it usually gives the best yield of nutrients. In conclusion, Hydroponic fodder system is a good alternative and been applied in many countries. There are downsides to hydroponics, just like any other things in life, but we can overcome most of them with just some planning and experiences. Considering the pros it can offer, hydroponics is worth doing. We have to admit that hydroponics is always a part of modern agriculture and can be the farming of the future with proven competitive points over soil.
green fodder is vital to feed livestock. But reduced availability of grazing land and scarcity of water to cultivate fodder makes it hard to produce green fodder throughout the year. The lack of quality fodder hampers the growth, production and reproduction of livestock. In this video, we will learn how hydrophonic fodder can help to solve this problem. Very little space is required to produce fodder without soil. Inside a shed, build a rack using bamboo to hold the plastic trays. Make a slight slope on one side of the rack so excess water can drain out of the holes in the trays. Select a medium-sized tray that is strong enough to hold the weight of grass. You can use a variety of grains but always use a good quality seed. Avoid using broken or unhealthy seeds. Soak the seeds in water for around 12 hours. After 12 hours, drain the water and store the seeds in a gunny bag until the seeds sprout. Spread the sprouted seeds evenly on the trays and place the tray on the rack. Each day, every 2 hours, spray water over the sprouted seeds. Within a week, you will have green fodder. Once the slab of fodder is ready, take it out of the tray and cut into pieces before feeding it to the livestock. Saving water, minimum land use, less labor, faster growth, giving a high yield of highly nourishing fodder that will improve your livestock. These are the key benefits in hydrophonic fodder production. That is all from me. Thank you.